I'm about to tell you guys the most dangerous part of Mexico City right now. Alright, what's up DVW fam? So today is finally here, October 29th. It is the parade of Dia de los Muertos, one of the most widely celebrated holidays here in Mexico and one of the best celebrations can be seen here in Mexico City. There's going to be a huge parade. The numbers gathering here should be up to the million. So yeah guys, it starts at 5 o'clock. Apparently the parade lasts for four hours and basically a bunch of Catrinas and Catrinos, the skeleton figurines that represent the holiday, will walk all around the city and end up here there'll be fireworks pyrotechnics a lot of dancing activities gonna be a lot of things to see a lot of things to buy and we're probably gonna get some face paint on so let's go check it out bienvenidos de vw familia let's fiesta so this is the scene here at the central historical the historical center there's a bunch of people congregated here and it barely even started guys it looks lit in here a lot of music bunch of friendly faces people here are about to turn up guys So if you guys didn't know, Dia de los Muertos is a holiday widely celebrated in Mexico where people commemorate their fallen family and friends. It is a happy celebration. And if you guys can look around here, you'll see a lot of, you know, dead figurines here. These are called Catrinas, which are the women. And yeah, so they're usually you paint your faces and um, to celebrate and so this is not like a Halloween celebration if you guys are confused like this costume right here is called the Catrina or Catrino so it's typically worn during Dia de los Muertos but it's only a couple days from Halloween so you could kind of celebrate both. Feliz Dia de los Muertos! Alright guys, so we're in the thick of things right in the middle. It's crazy guys and the party just got started. You haven't seen nothing yet. The parade's not even here yet. So a lot of entertainers, music, food, decorations guys. A lot in it's gonna be crazy. Guys, this is absolutely one of the coolest and grandest experiences I've ever seen for a celebration. Super cool y super rico. Like, I haven't even been to Times Square for New Year's Eve parties, but I feel like this is just on par. It might even top it guys. There's hella people here right now. So aside from the Catrines and Catrinas all over the place, you'll see a lot of decorations here called ofrendas. They're basically altars where you guys honor your family and friends who have passed. And over here, there's ofrendas from different cities throughout Mexico because Mexico City is not the only spot that celebrates this. So you'll see different cities like San Luis, Querétaro, Puebla, Baja California. So let's just check them out. This is ofrenda for Hidalgo. Baja California, sir. Hey, we, we just found some friends here with Katrina face painting and they wanted to say hi to the DVW fam. Sheesh. It's crazy here, guys. And the party just began. So we see more ofrendas over there. There's ofrendas all around the square, guys. They put this up in like a couple of days. I was actually here earlier two days ago to film and like, whew, that's a lot of hard work going into this. And it paid off because it is lit here. So that is the uh, 
cathedral over there, the main cathedral of the Sokolo. And right there, you got the street blocked off because the parade is going to be going over there. So people are trying to get a prime seat. It ends here. So it's going to end with a bang. So um, yeah, it's really crowded. So I don't know if we're going to get a nice seat. This is crazy, y'all. It's about to be a movie, or should I say, un policala. Some more ofrendas here with a loteria. This dog right here is taking Dia de los Muertos to the next level. <laughs> He's taking part of the holiday. Guys, it's one of the most beautiful events I've ever seen put up. It's like sensory overload. There's so much to see and do. I can't cover everything, entertainment. It's like Instagram pic, literally everywhere you look, guys. You guys see over there that's the uh this is kind of like the Times square building it's this latin america center you go to the top of that building this square right here kind of reminds me of like the Times square right here so there's not just street vendors and stuff there's actually a bunch of stores here uh convenience stores where you guys can buy here's trinkets jewelry and mostly food so stay hydrated because you're walking a lot here and if you guys didn't know, Mexico City is elevated, so you run out of breath pretty quickly. It's higher than Denver, Colorado. The party doesn't end at the square, guys. Literally everywhere you walk into Central Historico, every corner, every aisle, there's a party going on. Things you can see, things you can buy, comprar. So yeah, guys, but currently trying to find somewhere to paint my face. Alright DVW fam, so I got creative with it. I found a makeup shop in here in the Central Historical next to the Zocalo and we have Trenata right here. She offered to paint my face, so about to see a major transformation right here. So she's going to attempt to make me look like that Katrina right there. <laughs> It's half done. Should I end it here? Guys, you know it's real when your um, Apple Face ID doesn't work anymore. Alright guys, this is the after I have been reborn. This is an art piece right here. I call this the El Chino Catrin right here. That's me guys. So if you guys don't know the story, the Calavera, basically what all these faces are, the skeletons, the art piece Catrina y Catrina, which is all the skeleton faces you guys are seeing is made by a Mexican prince maker and artist named Jose Guadalupe Posado. He was born in 1852, but I don't know when he created this piece, but that's why it's so popular because this is an amazing art piece and inspired by him and Dia de los Muertos, guys. So this channel is now called DVW Familia. You can refer to me as Denhel versus World from now on. Yeah, but usually you get your friends, families to do it for you or um, a street vendor on the street, but I got creative. It cost me 150 pesos, which is maybe like 50 more more than what it usually is as I was asking around but it's well worth it guys as you can see delicious snacks and desserts postres in every corner of these streets guys so you won't go hungry here or steel too so the veil of night is upon us in the Torco and it looks just as breathtaking at night as it does in the day I would actually prefer it like this because all the colors and lights are so vibrant and lights up the sky <laughs> It's getting more and more lit as every minuto passes. Feel it, I feel it coming. We're turning this into a Spanish speaking channel, channel El Español. So, bienvenidos de ver double ul familia. Hoy estamos en la ciudad de México para ver el desfile es mucho grande en 2022 en ciudad de México. So, las fiesta. Hey. Oh, you can get crispy French fries right here, right on the street. Jeez. So McDonald's fries are here in Mexico. You can also get fresh gorditas here. And fresh elote too. I love corn. Corn. It's the best thing. Corn. Mexico City has some of the best street food. There's like a street food vendor, tacos, um, pasteleria, panaderias on literally on every corner of the street you're walking towards. ¿Cómo te llamas? Cesar. 
Organillo. 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 All right, guys. So in many of the corners here, especially when there's like a party going on, there's a harmony pan or an organillo always playing here to give you guys the street music, the soundtrack to the party. Gracias, Cesar. Uh, it's customary to tip them if you're gonna take a video or picture though, which I did, wasn't filmed. I was walking for a minute, had to catch my breath, the calm before the storm. We're at a little diner here called Sanborns. Um, I stopped by here to get a little drink, maybe some cerveza or tequila. All right, it's Dia de los Muertos, so we're celebrating a holiday, so just stop by this little diner to get a Don Julio shot here. It's very convenient to get in Mexico. You go to most places, uh, they sell shots, even at this little Denny's type establishment. Salud de mi familia. Not bad, not bad. Uno mas? Or no? Uno mas or no? Do you want me to tell you how I got these scars? Why so serious? All right, y'all, so we're back in action. Those two, those Eki shots, I actually ordered another one, by the way. It's around like $15, 300 pesos. That's actually a little bit less than what you could get in the States. Like two shots, probably be like $20, $30. So yeah, guys. And it was Don Julio, so pretty good uh, quality. So on our way back to see El Fin of the Parade. Viva Denver's world! This is basically like the New Year's with the fireworks, but I don't got a kiss right now, so I'm gonna kiss you guys. Ah. Besos por tu. All right, y'all, so sound cut off again here due to the hype, but these are the scenes leaving the parade. This is the end. The MC earlier just said that this was the biggest, largest, and grandest Dia de los Muertos celebration party parade that they ever had, and it was lit, guys. And I can attest to this myself. It's one of the craziest events I've ever been to in my life, probably the most crowded other than Vegas on New Year's in the past but yeah it was similar to like a New Year's Eve party I feel like and yeah if people are wondering about the safety um, it's relatively safe I felt pretty safe walking around the only thing is you kind of got to watch out for pickpockets and just crowds but that's everywhere in the world the scenes out here are like something out of a movie un pulicola coco to be exact but also if you guys didn't know fun fact this parade was also um, inspired by the James Bond movie Spectre so they did a scene there in the Zocalo and then I guess the citizens of Mexico City really liked that so they adapted this parade to kind of mirror that celebration but yeah guys this is the 2022 parade and yeah the scene before was a concert basically that ends the parade I heard the artist was famous singer but can't show you guys all of that because don't want to get this video copyrighted but whoever was singing had a beautiful voice probably dressed up as a Katrina but she sounded like an angel guys just when you thought the party was over I hear some loud banging music down the street the party doesn't stop here I guess the after party the fiesta después and you won't just find ofrendas and deal de los muertos calaveras just at the Zocalo you'll find them everywhere in every colonia and neighborhood here like an Aztec Calavera here. Hey! 
This is the scene, y'all. People trying to get into the metro bus to go home. Guys, they still refuse to stop the party. There's some type of Aztec dancing going on here. I'm about to tell you guys the most dangerous part of Mexico City right now. Literally, the most dangerous thing in the city is the sidewalks or walkways. <laughs> Not in every place, but you have to do a lot of walking in the city, which I actually really enjoy, but sometimes um, like there'll be uneven ground because uh, if you guys didn't know, Mexico City is built on lakes and ruins of the ancient Aztec empire so like the ground's kind of uneven that's why it's also susceptible to earthquakes so yeah it's not me it's not their fault but yeah sometimes i'll catch myself slipping but haven't ate sheesh haven't ate crap yet so yeah be careful when you're walking around here so yeah guys if you guys didn't know i'm actually staying here the whole week of dia de los muertos doing food vlogs travel vlogs so make sure you guys tune into the other videos to, to see that. We're going to tour the whole city and show you guys little bits and parts of all the ofrendas, the marigolds, aka the sempa suchi, which are these orange flowers you will see common throughout the city during this time. And yeah, it's also customary to get some pan de muerto. There's also a lot of food that they serve during this season to celebrate Dia de los Muertos. So we're going to do some food vlogs with some pan dulce and a bunch of other food also we try some simple sushi salsa so make sure you guys watch the next couple videos all right guys so it was a hell of a night at this dia de los muertos parade had a lot of fun like i said some of the best scenes i've ever seen in a city so yeah guys, I'm gonna head back to edit this video for you guys. So if you guys like this video, please like it, comment down below what's your favorite part, and subscribe for more DVW vlogs. Deuces! So here's the fireworks show from the rest of the parade that ended it. Couldn't play the whole scene because they're playing some music that might have been copyrighted, but stay tuned and enjoy if you guys want to see the show.